Yellowstone earthquakes linked to the Cascadia subduction zone earthquakes that we've had recently. Well, it's logical because of the huge, massive carbon lake that's recently been found stretching all the way from the west coast of the Pacific Ocean all the way over, as we can see in this map. Here it is, Yellowstone. Half of the United States, basically, is what's covered by this newly found molten rock, molten lava lake, carbon lake. A massive lake of molten carbon the size of Mexico has been recently discovered under the United States. And as we see from the map, it takes up just about half of the United States because Yellowstone is one of the few super volcanoes of the world. Well, we've had a number of recent volcanoes, starting with a 6.5 off the uh, coast of Oregon on the Juan de Fuca plate yesterday. And today it's followed by another one of a 4.0, again in the same region, exactly the same position of uh, yesterday's quake of 6.3, Bandon, Oregon. But we've also had quakes towards the south, magnitude 2.5, east southeast of the geysers, California, stretching down the San Andreas fault line. And then we had another 2.5, Aguanga, California, and we had two other ones on Mexico. And of course, a 4.0 Manzanillo, Mexico. But we've also had, besides the big one in Alaska, near the volcano, 6.3, 6.6 to 6.3, depending on who you listen to, we've had earthquakes affecting Yellowstone, the Yellowstone area. Soda Springs, Idaho, 2.5. Now, if we go to the Utah shake map, the earthquake map of recent earthquakes in Utah, we have at least, oh, I would venture at least 50, just over the main Yellowstone area. But if you look towards Idaho and Wyoming, and Utah, you have, I don't know, by the looks of it, about uh, 100. And as you can see, this is the area that we're looking at. And this is the Utah area, Salt Lake City. The whole thing, of course, is lying over the Molten Carbon Lake. And I would venture, these are the recent earthquakes. The yellow is last two weeks, orange is last two days, and the red is just uh, two hours ago. But let's look at the orange, because we had the 6.3 off uh, the coast of Oregon yesterday. So this is the uh, orange that we're looking at, of course. And we've had a tremendous activity during the past two weeks, as you can see here. Let's take it out. Okay, that's the whole area up to Las Vegas. And let's put it back in. There you go, it's everywhere. Now, it's not just the west coast that we're afraid could give a mega thrust volcano, a mega thrust earthquake, if volcano, okay, we're talking about, we have a whole series of volcanoes in, in the, on the west coast as well, and even new ones discovered in Canada. But besides the Yellowstone supervolcano, there's another supervolcano between the west coast and Yellowstone, that's the Long Valley Caldera volcano is holding 240 cubic miles of magma 
that have been discovered underneath this dormant California super volcano. It's not just a uh, volcano, it's a super volcano. Scientists discovered 240 cubic miles of semi-molten magma below the Long Valley Caldera, a super volcano in eastern California near Ma Mammoth Mountain. Some 240 cubic miles worth of magma deep below the Long Valley Caldera sits there, and researchers report in the journal Geology. It does not mean it's about to erupt or anything like that, but it is there. The supervolcano erupted over six days uh, back 760,000 years ago, and it coated the surrounding 30 miles of land in hot ash and shooting volcanic materials as far as Nebraska, from what the geologists have found. And it has stayed dormant for the last 100,000 years or so. So we have what appears to be a link between the pushing of the subduction zone on the west, the Pacific coast going underneath the North American plate in the Cascadia subduction zone, and it's hitting the supervolcano of the Long Valley Caldera and hitting, of course, various sections of Yellowstone. As you can see from the subduction zone map, it's basically underneath all the activity going on there and it's quite close to the west coast and of course the molten lake of carbon stretches all the way from the west coast to the middle of the united states kindly support by contributing to my patreon account you'll find it in the description box below thank you